that we've been doing an expose on the sacred name heresy. And what I like to do now, as I did in the first video, was to explain that there is no condemnation of the people that are involved in this mistaken idea that they've been brainwashed with, but that we all get our brains washed by what we look at, by what we see, by what we hear. So a lot of times people that are living in different parts of the country, they may get involved in, oh, I don't know, some fad that comes along and participate in it for a while until they learn the truth. Then once they begin to discover that, you know, it may not be such a good idea to do what you're doing, then usually people will pull themselves out of whatever they're involved in. And I know that, you know, the pet rock was kind of cute for a while, but after a while it kind of got old, you know, and it's kind of like, the old joke that you hear over and over again, and once you've heard it enough times, it begins to get kind of like boring. Well, when you have heard so much of this evidence that Yahushua is just part of a false teaching, then you really have to deal with that, you know, at a personal level at some point in time and do something about it. For those that aren't involved in it, I would suggest that you take whatever you find off of our Prophecy Research and Development site and post it. Put it in response under comments wherever you see the word Yahushua. That way people that don't know the truth will see the truth and God can use that to remind them that, hey, you're involved in something that's not true. You're kind of like stuck in a fad and not a fact. It's a fallacy and not for God. It's not scriptural and though you may have been hyped into it, you're wrong. So I didn't want people to feel that are involved in it that they're being condemned, but rather they're being contemned with, meaning that they're being challenged to prove these things that are being presented to you. We are told as all believers, no matter who we are or what we're involved in, to prove all things and hold fast that which is good. When you go back to your own personal site, if you're a person who's into this Yahoo stuff or you're a sacred namer or you're messianic and you somehow got messed around with and you got involved in this changing the Hebrew in order to make it into something it's not, then let me explain to you that it's just part of what you're dealing with in growing up and learning to decide what is true and what is false. Because you may have some good ideas. There may be some good things that you've learned out of that participation with the group. Because they do seem to use a lot of prophecy in order to hide their questionable material. And they might have some good things you got involved with that you may find others agree with you on parts of what you say. But unfortunately, when you start pushing the idea that you have to keep the law in order to be saved, you can't really prove that, unfortunately. Jesus died so that we may live. And that if you have a personal relationship with him, you can find the truth. He will give you his spirit and allow you to find, discern, and to know the truth, and then also to hear his voice, too. So don't get sidetracked by this kind of Yahoo stuff, you know, whether it be Yahushua, Yahushua, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahneh, Yahyas, Yodos, you know, Yahblues, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's just goofy, you know, and it's kind of stupid, to be honest, because you can't find it in Hebrew. and Unfortunately, it's only day two, and we already have maybe 50 or 40, 43, I believe, posts up of the expose showing how wrong this is and how much facts there are proving that the sacred name cult has gone out of their way to invade prophecy, websites, and videos in order to push their secret agenda and to convince you and to convert you into their way of thinking. 
always seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. But that's an easy way to get stumbled into legalism. Rather, seek the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not in thine own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Notice that. Trust him, not man. Seek him, not man. Ask him, let him direct. Don't lean in your own understanding. That is where the Yahuis have gotten screwies because they try to interpret what the Bible said rather than let the Bible say what it means, it means what it says. That's how easy it is. But it's also how easy people got stumbled because they followed after men instead of seeking after the Lord.